We said that level one of added value comes from Midas meter quickly, easily, and non-invasively finding through valve leaks. This is sometimes referred to simply as troubleshooting. So let's show you how this device finds the leaking valve. Four valves in the fully closed position, one valve partially open to simulate the leak. We're now going to proceed, switch on our Midas meter handset using the big yellow button, runs through a sequence on B and a number tells you the battery life and then it drops to a two digit number. In this case, we have 21 decibels. 21 decibels of noise is your background noise. What we will do on the demo panel is look for additional decibels of noise. That's what's gonna show you which valve is leaking. So the first thing to say here is each of our valves have been numbered. You can see the serial numbers TV, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. To survey each valve, we're going to place a little bit of silicon coupling, about the size of half a P, split P, onto the sensor, and then hold it in direct surface contact with the body of each valve individually. What you'll see on each of the valves is that we'll have additional decibels, in this one we have 36 decibels. I'm just going to move now to number two. Give that a few seconds to stabilize. We've gone from 32 up to 40 decibels on valve number two. Let's move to valve number three. We're now up at 61 decibels and static at 61. Move to valve number four. Numbers rising and stabilized at 40. And finally, the fifth valve body reading stabilized also at 40 decibels. So based on our survey readings for each of those five valves, valve number three had the highest stable reading. And so that is our valve that is leaking. The noise you're seeing in the other four valves is effectively spreading through the pipework to reach each of the other positions. The source of the highest decibels is where your leaking valve is. So in order to prove this is correct, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin round the demonstration panel and we'll have a look in behind to see the leaking valve. So you'll see one of the hand levers is turned and we'll look directly up the end of the panel. As you can see, it's valve number three where the hand lever has been marginally turned and that is indeed a leaking valve. You may also be able to hear the air escaping from the outlet of the flow meter. If I fully close that valve, you'll hear the noise goes away, as has the leak. And we can demonstrate that by showing you the flow meter, reading zero, and the decibels on the valve, which we'll do right now. So we can see here, no more flow coming through the flow meter. And we still have pressure, of course. The valve is now in the fully closed position. If we come on with our Midas meter, you can see we're back down at a background reading. In this case, just a couple of decibels above what we'd call a zero reading of 21. We're sitting at 23 decibels here. And all of the valves will be at the same level or thereabouts because we've taken away the leak. The noise that you were seeing in the other valves 
was only generated because it was sound spill from the leak source. In other words, the sound was attenuating across the whole panel, and so you saw other readings and other valves. Those readings are all now gone, and so we know that we've repaired the leak satisfactorily. In operational terms, this is a good way of demonstrating that leaks have been correctly repaired. So, what we've been able to demonstrate successfully there is that literally with just a few seconds worth of training, we can use this completely non-invasive Midas meter survey method to correctly identify leaking valves. Following on from this, I can now show you that we can also use Midas meter as an effective maintenance verification tool. If I simulate the maintenance or repair activity by closing valve number three as I did there, place the sensor back onto the body, you saw that the decibels we measured previously are now all gone. In summary, Midas meter troubleshooting surveys moves us towards value-based maintenance. That's the 80% savings I spoke about, where we leave the four valves that are okay alone, and we only repair the one leaking valve. If you would like to see some real life case studies where we've used Midas meter to deliver measurable value to our customers, please follow these on-screen links.